Hi, this is Edith, Center for Teaching and Learning Lead at Klamath Community College, and in this video, I am going to go over the Canvas Inbox. The Canvas Inbox works like any other email program. Email correspondence with your classmates and instructors will show up in your inbox, even if you have set your default email address as something else. Accessing your inbox. Click on the inbox icon. In the first drop-down box, you can select to view emails that have been sent to you from your different courses. If you want to view just one course, click on the drop-down box and select the course. Only those emails from that course will show. In the next drop-down box, you can select which folder you want to view. Your choices are Inbox, Unread, Starred, Sent, Archived, and Submission Comments. To compose a new message, click on the Compose icon. Click on the course that you want to send the email to. In the To field, you have a few options. You can email all teachers or some teachers, all or some students, or if you're assigned to a group in a class, you will see that option here as well. If you are sending an email to just one instructor or person, click on the individual. If you want to email multiple people, click on the address book icon, hold down your control key, and click on the individuals you want to send the email to. After selecting the recipients, I would recommend using a detailed subject line so that the recipient will know what the email is about. Writing hey or did you know is not going to be helpful. You do have the option to send an individual email to each of the recipients. This sends the email that you compose to each recipient as if they were the only ones receiving the email. You can attach a file by clicking on the clip icon here and selecting the file that you want to attach and click open. You also have the option of recording a video message. Click on the record audio or video comment, click on start recording, and when you're done click finished and then click send. Reply to sender. Click on this icon to reply to the sender of the email. Reply to all. Click on this icon to reply to all individuals who were included in this email. Please use Reply to All sparingly, unless your email is pertinent to all recipients. Archive. Archiving emails is a way to save an email for future use and removes them from the inbox. Think of it as a saved folder. Delete. Delete emails by clicking on the radio button next to the email that you want to delete and click on the delete icon. The gear icon or more options. Click on this to mark emails as unread, forward, or star them to mark them as important. Use the search box to send an email to someone outside your registered courses. They can be an instructor or a student. You can search by course or by individual names. After you receive a message, you will get a notification here. The emails show up with the subject line and a small sampling of what is included in the message. To open, just click on the email. I would recommend that you check your emails in Canvas daily. A lot of instructors send emails as their only form of communication, and you may miss something if you do not check your emails regularly. It is also recommended that you use the Canvas system to email your instructors. If you use an outside email program, your instructors may not get to them as quickly as those sent through Canvas. In this video, we covered how to find emails by course, how to view different folders in the inbox such as read, unread, starred, archive, and submitted comments, how to reply only to one sender, how to reply to all, archiving emails, deleting emails, what the More Options gear is about, finding an individual through the search box, how to compose an email, and how to attach a file or record a video audio file to send in an email. Part 6 of the Canvas Overview will go over how you can find help for Canvas.